Silva. Once again, Star Wars and Unboxing fans, welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba, here today with, again, a continued series of Advent Calendar unboxings. This is for December 15th, and uh, so we'll get to that in a moment, but I have another package that I wanted to share, which is why this is going on the regular YouTube feed and not the Instagram live stream, which happens every day. This one will be happening on the 15th via the um, YouTube channel, which I'll share everywhere. It's also important to note that um, we have not, we're kind of going out of order. This will be released on the 15th, so we're opening up the one on the 15th. Okay, but before we get to the advent calendars, we have another package. This one is from the UK, and I am very excited about this because I've been slowly building up my collection of these types of figures. And I want to share this with everyone as soon as I can. Now, if I can get this to open without going to... Oh, 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 oh. oh. Well, we got a little... Well, okay. Oh. Right now, I'm kind of upstairs right now because I don't feel like bringing all the advent calendars downstairs. Um, but I do have a few more episodes. There we go. Very, very gentle. This is from Sith Customs. Yes, it's a custom figure. And no, it's not Star Wars figure. It's actually something different. Oh, nice, uh, nice. So Sith Customs. Okay, um, check out Sith Customs at AOL.com. Um, and um, let me just, uh, you might have caught a glimpse of it when I first... Ooh. You might have caught a glimpse of it. Yes, this is not a Star Wars figure. This is a V action figure. <laughs> okay, and V, for those who don't know, was a TV miniseries that came out in the 80s. It was immediately right after the Star Wars um, the Star Wars, uh, Return of the Jedi had ended, uh, and they had, it was a mini series about these aliens that come to the, come to earth and they come in peace and they look like us and everybody thinks that, you know, they need our help and we're trying to help them, but it turns out that they're actually not as what they appear. They're actually these horribly, these lizard creatures, like you can see here. And... They are here to take all of our water and to enslave us and to actually serve us up as food because they are cannibals and, or, and, you know, and eating, they want to eat us. So then, then there was a resistance that formed. It was a really cool show. It had a, a I think it was a two part uh, mini series. Then came a, a three part fina final battle series. And that was followed by a TV series, which lasted one season, which sadly wasn't all that great. But um, it did, it, you know, there were a lot of cool characters, as you can see. This is just a handful of them. Uh, the main hero was Mike Donovan. Juliet Parrish was the other heroine. And then you had the villains, like Diana. They all had just, like, regular human names, but they only had the first names. So it was Diana, and this is what they looked like when they had their human um, skin on, but this is when you put, when you pulled away at the skin, they all were lizards. And then you have, um, that's John. He was like the Supreme commander and you have, um, the, this is the V soldiers and, you know, it had a very similar star Warsian vibe. Um, the uniforms are really cool and the villains, they were just these really cool red outfits. Now this character was my favorite character. His name was Martin. And why was he my favorite character? Well, as I said, the visitors were considered, First, they were considered our friends, and then they turned out that they were not our friends, and they were enemies. But Martin was what they were called, was a member of what was called the Fifth Column, and was essentially a character that was actually a good character, trying to um, basically help the humans. So there were a few people like that. So um, that was the figure that I decided I wanted to get a custom figure of. So the box art on this is absolutely amazing. It's so good. It's such a great clean 
looking thing. 12 action figures to collect, choose from visitors and resistance, detailed uniforms, interchangeable accessories. Um, there was even a scene in the show early on where they actually, where some, where one boy was actually playing with visitor toys and they actually had a V uh, ship, not like this, it was like a bigger ship like a cargo ship and a few action figures like, they, you know, like they were trying, you want to, you want to get kids behind it, you know, put them out there in their toys. So really, really cool stuff. Now, uh, Martin was played by an actor named Frank Ashmore. I actually met him at a comic con or, you know, a fan convention uh, back in the eighties. Really nice man. Still, you know, still acting today, although not nearly as much as, and, you know, he never really kind of made, he was more famous in his youth. He did a lot of B movies and stuff like that when he was younger. Um, not doing too much now. He plays kind of bit parts, walk on roles, that type of thing. So the figure, I can tell by the by the shape of the and the racing stripe, they're definitely going for a Star Wars vibe here. You can tell that they're actually kind of looking kind of at the power of the Force idea, like as if this was where the coin would have been, right? Although instead of coin, they just have the visitor. This is that really cool visitor symbol. And as I said, V never released figures. So they had one. They had one 12 inch just standard visitor doll. So that was pretty cool. Now, this figure, if you get a good close look at it, it looks suspiciously familiar. It looks a lot like the um, Luke Skywalker or Jedi Knight figure from Return of the Jedi. Okay. I don't know if that's exactly it. I think that there, there was some um, sculpting or something done differently. Um, I like the tunic or the the bib kind of thing that f kind of fits over it works like a because that's kind of how the uniforms look they kind of went down there was a belt that kind of crossed over the front so it really had a really cool kind of look to it um i will say my own you know it looks like the stripes for i guess it was lieutenant or whatever um looks like they were just hand drawn um a little faded and the label of the I would have liked to have seen an actual either sewn on or even drawn on symbol as opposed to it looks like there's just a sticker definitely not going to take this out of the package because I don't think this outfit would last very long if you manhandled it too much and they never really carried weapons um, they did sometimes have a these really cool guns um, but generally speaking when they were dressed like this you know those guys in the back they carried weapons but these guys not so much so there he is Martin. Really cool. Um, I will say this, uh, and in, in feeling the, I noticed that my hands are a little bit, um, getting like, they almost have a little ink on them. So I would say be very careful. Um, you definitely want to put this into a carded, uh, I'm going to put it back in this, uh, in this little, uh, Ziploc at the conclusion of the video. Um, you definitely want to get that protected because these things are not meant to be played with. What's the guy say in Toy Story? There's for display only. All right, so we are dealing with December 15th in our advent calendars. So let's start with our coin. Let's see what character we have today. Okay, there it is, the 15th. Looks like the character is Darth Vader. Only you can be so bold. Okay, Darth Vader. Kind of got a cool design there and the back is the backs are pretty much the same they're just the star wars logo so pretty cool stuff at some point i might just take this out of the container just to see what it feels like but i don't want to do that just yet especially with my hands all kind of dirty so let's get that back in the thing and as i said i'm going to keep the 15 until we get to the actual 15th i'm going to keep these things covered Okay, let's moving on. All right, so the 15th, where is the 15th? The 15th looks like, let's get this a little bit positioned here better. Oh, there's the 15th. Looks like it's right, right up here. So I'm going to, all right, here we go. Gently. It's got a little imperial cog on it. Let's see if I can open this up without. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, okay. This looks like a 
I'm not exactly sure. Uh, it's it's some kind of a magnet. Maybe it's like a place to like it might be a bookmark because it looks like it it's meant to fold, right? So if you have like a piece of paper, like let's say this is the page of a book, right? Uh, I'll pretend to have my two-page book here, right? And you want to hold it in there. You can just do that, and it clips it in. That's cool. That's very clever, and I love the design. It looks like it's got a TIE fighter with a little bow on it. It's got a little snowflake. And on this side, oops, ruining my page here. We have a nice Stormtrooper look, and then we have a sprig of holly. So very cool. I'm gonna put this back in. This one kind of opened up slightly sideways, which is good because it was a little hard to get out. All right. And lastly, for the 15th, we are, here we go, 15th. Looks like we're getting a speeder bike. Oh, oh boy. Oh. And as I've said in previous episodes, I enjoy making these into holiday things because, all right, so it looks like, okay, okay, and then we've got, um, can't tell which way these things are going here. Oh, yes, I can. Duh. I think they're going, <laughs> they're trying to appeal to the uh, Mandalorian fans with this year's uh, thing because they have the speeder bike, and I think there's going to be a speeder bike um, biker scout. And I just have a feeling that they're going to uh, <laughs> be trying to do a throwback to that last scene of this first step first season where they were <laughs> beaten up on the poor baby Yoda. We can't believe they did that. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is the steering, right? Okay, steering, steering. Alrighty. And we got our two front parts. Put this up here. Okay, and then looks like they just do this, do this. There we go. And one extra. All right. So there is your speeder bike. Awesome. Okay, and I think it will eventually, if um, it'll eventually have a character in there so very good okay cool well that will do it for this episode of darth tuba's star wars unboxing show be sure to like subscribe hit the notification button me check no notification bump bump me no button and check me out on instagram and twitter especially instagram because i will be putting out daily uh, continued daily uh, unboxings of the uh, advent calendars of these three and looking forward to sharing them with you so thank you so much for watching until next time May the toys and the force be with you.